Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to go over how to check two different files for duplicate information. So, for example, if you work in HR and you have a lot of employee data, and say you have two different programs, and so the employees are listed in two different files and you want to identify the people who are in both pro programs. I'm going to be showing you how to do VLOOKUP basically to double check who's listed in each file. Um, for this example, I'm going to be using uh, email addresses to see if I have duplicate subscribers across different email lists that I've set up. And the way it works is you, you can get, you know, some free templates and discount codes. And when, um, depending on how I have it set up, sometimes uh, if people sign up for multiple things, then their email address is listed in multiple lists. And then I don't want to send those people the same email twice later on. So that is kind of what I'm going to be doing in this example is checking for duplicate emails. And I've already downloaded the files from my um, from MailChimp. And so let me just show you what we're working with. I actually have three different files that I'm looking to compare. By the way, if you are if you do want one of the free templates or discount code, it's all listed at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. For this example, I'm trying to see who's overlapping between these three files so that I can tag them and make sure I'm not sending duplicate information or maybe there's someone that signed up here that hasn't received um, what I would normally send. Um, so we're going to do this with VLOOKUPs and then basic filtering. Um, if you haven't done a VLOOKUP before, it's really easy. It might sound complicated, but if you just follow the steps, you'll be able to double check your duplicates in each file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the file with the most people on it, which is my main file here. And I'm going to be adding a column. Oops. You could really put the column anywhere, but since I'm doing the VLOOKUP based on the email address, the column is best to the right of that. If you had employee ID, you'd want to put the column to the right. So what I'm going to do is label this column in other product list. And I'm going to be doing the VLOOKUP here to pull in who is listed in this list. Now a couple things before we actually do it, we're matching it with the email address. So the email address needs to be a column in both files and if you don't have an email address or employee ID, you really need to pick something that um, that is a unique identifier per row, um, per person. Otherwise, if I just tried to do the VLOOKUP based on member rating, then it's just going to pull in the first instance of number two. It's not going to pull in all these other number twos. So when you're doing VLOOKUP, we're assuming that the email address or employee ID is only listed one time within the file. If you have one file and you're wanting to double check for duplicates within that one file, there's another method or process I would use to, to check for that. And I'll link to that when I'll add another video that goes over that. I'm pretty sure that um, MailChimp doesn't list the same email address twice, so I'm not checking for that this time. So what I'm going to want to decide on is I'm pulling in based on email address, but what information am I pulling in? So you don't, you want to pull in something that has a value for each row. So this uh, partner ID would not be a good example because there's a lot of blanks. Member rating it could be used or often time could be used. Or you could also add a column that says, uh, anything you want in product list and you could just drag this down the entire column if you don't have anything that shows everybody if you don't have something that has a value for everybody if you have blanks throughout um, then you would just add something like that okay so now that we know what information we're going to be pulling in this column in product list into the tribe list so now I'm going to start the VLOOKUP, just click on FX at the top, 
the lookup. But from here, we're doing the lookup value, and that's going to be the value in the worksheet that we're pulling the information in. So that's going to be, you know, one column. I'm using email address. You could be using employee ID. You could be using name. Then we go to the next tab. That's table array. That's going to be the information in the file we're pulling to. Now we're going to need to highlight several columns, at least two columns, If, but it really it depends on what information you're pulling in. I want to pull in the column that says in product list. So when the email address matches an email address in here, I want to pull in that it's in the product list. Column index number is going to be how far away, how many columns from column A to column G are we going. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're pulling in the seventh column from where we started. If your email address was in column B and you had B through G highlighted, then it would actually be, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six columns away. So we just put seven and then range lookup, we always put false. And it doesn't really matter why, just always put false. And click OK. And so what happens here is when this email address is not listed, I'm going to get an NA. So I'm just going to put my cursor right here and double click. And it goes all the way down the column. Just double check that it goes to the end. After that, I'm highlighting the column with the headers and I'm adding a filter. And then now when you filter, you see it's either NA, which means they're not in the product list or it's in product list. So I'm going to uncheck NA so that I only have in product list selected. And you can see that I have 14 that are listed in my main list that are also listed in here. But as I'm looking in here, there's also 29 people. So there's also people in here that are not in my main list. But that's how you do a VLOOKUP and that is how you double check the duplicate is by checking on the filter. I'm going to do another one um, to the other list and I probably will do a VLOOKUP from the product list to pull in who's in the tribe list. That way I can tell who are the new people. I'm just going to pull in member rating or opt-in time just as the placeholder um, instead of adding that. So I would do another column and send in other ebook. It's going to be the email address column, then go to the file. I'm going to highlight the email and pick a column. Let's do H opt in time. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to be the eighth column and false. And most are going to be NAs. Um, make sure it went to the bottom. So it pulls in the date in this weird format. It doesn't really matter to me what date it was listed. I'm just trying to see if there was a value at all. That means that they're in the file. So I'm just going to uncheck the NAs. And then that way I can see this is six people and, and seven people. So there's only one person listed in this. Um, list who's also not in the main file. I could also see if maybe they're in this file, product file too. Okay, so now that you know how to do the VLOOKUP and you know how to double check for duplicates, um, I'm curious how um, you're going to use this and what kind of duplicate information you're going to be checking for. Don't forget that um, I'm also going to do another video about how to check for duplicates if they're listed in the same file. So if you have one file and you want to see is someone listed twice in that one file, I would not use the VLOOKUP for that. I would use a different um, method for that. And I will link to that um, after I get it posted. And until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets and templates. And don't forget to subscribe and also go check out the free templates at timesavingtemplates.com slash free 
resources. Thanks.